Yeah, baby, what's up, YouTube? Rocking that gothic King Cobra, Green Cobra t-shirt, yeah. You don't have to buy the merch, but it's greatly appreciated. Just tuning in to watch the videos enough. We are gonna be cooking up a deep fried burrito. Oh, it's gonna be dank. We're gonna have cheese, beef, bacon, some mango candy, jalapenos. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. I tried making this last night, but I burnt the crap out of my burrito, so I'm like, eh, screw it. I'll just redo the recipe tomorrow. Even Chef Gordon Ramsay has to do a couple retakes from time to time. That's just how it happens, man. No! You know, so I'm not gonna beat myself up over it too much. We're just gonna reattempt it. Mm-hmm. Like by the time I got done making the burrito, underneath that burnt smell, I could smell the actual burrito itself and it smelled really good. I'm trying to burn it this time. Keyword is try. Uh, now, I try to variety my cooking skills with different recipes. Cobra's Cafe, take a bite out of your hunger. I'd have Coke and Pepsi products on tap. I'd have a, lots of beer to choose from. Thirsty Thursdays, you come in, get a pitcher of beer with your favorite soda pop mixed in with it for like six bucks. Yeah, buddy. All right, YouTube. Let's grab our Mountain Dew. Let's grab the camera. Let's make it happen, Captain. Here's that badass skillet that my lesbian fan sent me. Greatly appreciate that. And the old skillet is right here. That's going to be going up, up for sale here one of these days. And all 100% of the proceeds from this auction, when I auction off this pan on eBay, 100% of the proceeds are going towards a charity to help feed starving people. So it's a great way for one of my lucky fans to get their hands on some official King Cobra memorabilia and also do something great for the community. Now when I went to Walmart yesterday with my dad to get some wand supplies, he bought me a little bit of groceries to carry me through until I get my YouTube money, so that's greatly appreciated. There we go, one beef patty. So what are we doing right now, YouTube? We are making a deep fried burrito. Bacon, cheese, candied jalapenos, Doritos, beef. It's gonna be delicious. Go ahead and grab a spoonful and just plop it into the our pan here. Like that. That'll give us some flavor profile for our burger. Throw a sprinkle of that on top. Season side down first. Into that butter pile. Into that butter puddle right there. We'll sprinkle that on top. All right. Now all that butter. Okay, don't grab this handle while it's on the stove. That's a little warm. Um, just a little spoonful like that. And uh, we're gonna drop it on top of the burger. And a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. So now we wait. Um, sit here and um. I'm gonna pour a splash of Mountain Dew in, on top of our burger patty. There we go. Mountain Dew has like citrus and lemon, you know, kind of a, what you would, like citrus, citrus, lime, lemon, you know, lemons and limes. Lemons and limes are sometimes used in um, Mexican cooking. So a little bit goes a long way, just a little bit to flavor that beef. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And we're gonna give this burger patty a flip. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Keeping it on nice medium heat is actually a smart idea. I should have done that last night. 
Well, that's part of cooking YouTube, I guess. You know, you learn a thing or two. If you're gonna grab a hot skillet pan handle like this, grab like a washcloth and use that to like, you know. So what I'm doing right now is just kind of going like that. I want to cut the beef patty into chunks to make it fit the burrito better. Yeah, that's enough grease for our pan to cook up our bacon. Just, just look at it. Yeah, I might, uh, <laughs> I might throw a splash of butter in there while the bacon's cooking up. So now we got our two pieces of bacon right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tear them into in half. So now we got four smaller pieces. YouTube, we got uh, we got our we got my hands washed, dried off. Look at that bacon just sizzling up in the pan. Oh my god, that looks good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some seasoning to our bacon. Look at that! Boom! Show that logo. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit under our applewood smoked bacon that's also thick cut. A little bit. This is basically candy bacon seasoning. Is what it's supposed to be used for. So if you're making candy bacon in the oven, you use this stuff to uh, sweeten it up a little bit. So we're gonna sprinkle it just a little bit onto our bacon here, and if a little bit of this sweet bacon rub gets into the grease that's all right because we're going to be frying this burrito up in it anyways do like a little sprinkle of it onto the bacon here perfect just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit all right in there look at that you see where the 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 bacon rubs on there Right where I sprinkled it, beautiful. All right. Oh yeah, that bacon is fully cooked. You know what, yeah, I think that's enough grease to fry up our burrito. Let's start off with our two tortilla shells. These are the uh, carb balance tortillas, high in fiber, um, new look and same great taste. On 100 years of quality, show that logo. Not a sponsor. Like I said, I have two tortilla shells. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna microwave it so that the tortilla shells stick to each other just a little bit. We want nice, soft tortilla shells. We're going to uh, kind of you know, just break it up into chunks. You don't have to be pretty with it because it's going to go... It's all going to go into your stomach anyway, so you really don't have to be that pretty with it. Just take the beef and break it up into chunks. Again, just take that bacon, break it up into small pieces. Or smaller pieces, I should say. Put it right on top there. Oh, we... So now what we're gonna do, add some cheese to the top of that, that beef and bacon right there. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna take a pinch of that cheese and we're gonna sprinkle it on top of our beef and bacon. Now the trick to rolling a good burrito is to not overstuff it. If you overstuff the burrito, it's gonna fall apart. And you're not going to be able to enjoy very much of it. You're going to have to end up eating it with a fork. And that's that's never any fun. So like a nice little sprinkle. And one more little sprinkle of that cheese on top. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So I want to take, kind of push it down just a little bit. Flatten it out. There we go. Oh, boy. Um, these, um mango candied jalapenos um we're gonna take our candied our candied mango jalapenos 
And it goes without saying, we're gonna add a little bit of crunch to our to our deep fried burrito. Mm. Four or five will do it. First of all, I wanna kinda push this down a little bit. There we go. And then once you fold the sides in, you wanna take and roll it. Mm. I'm going to try to do it from this side so you can watch me roll it. Okay, and then you take one side here and kind of... This is where it gets tricky. Oh. I have to take some of these Doritos off to make room. Ha <laughs> mm. And I'm just going to roll it. Push it down. A tuck. And once you got that in there, kind of, I know it can be difficult to fold sometimes. I'm trying really hard here, YouTube, to make this. I really am. No, 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 you don't. Don't come unfolded. Fuck me. Fuck me. Do not come unfolded, please. No, 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 no. No, 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 you no, 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 god damn, you don't fucking, oh, you piece of fucking shit. Oh, oh my god, we're so close to making it. I got this, YouTube. And it fell apart. I just want to fucking cry, dude. God fucking damn it. Not only did it come unrolled. Suck my dick with this, dude. Fuck! Well, that looks a lot better than my last attempt, I'll tell you that right now. At least it re-rolled, that's a good thing. God. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get, YouTube. That's not perfect by any means, but you know what, I'll take it. A lot of my fans right now are probably at work, and this is helping them pass the workday along nicely. I'm serious though, if you ever come to Casper, Wyoming and you want a damn good burrito, you go to Poncho's. Huh? Now, my favorite thing to get at Poncho's is the California burrito, but I have them custom make it for me. You get the California burrito with everything on it. You add beef, bacon, extra cheese, and guacamole. Well, right now I'm looking at it, I'm like, it looks good and it smells good. My only complaint is that it came unrolled in the pan when I was trying to fry it up. So we'll see how uh, we'll see how it turned out. <whistles> uh huh. Oh my. Oh hold up. Mhm. Mm yeah. Hell yeah. It's a cross section. My only complaint though is um, I kind of wish that the um. The tortilla would have been a little bit more crispy, but beggars can't be choosers. I call it a success. Anyways, YouTube, I do appreciate you all tuning in to watch this here cooking video. If you like the cooking videos, subscribe for more. I'll catch you, cool cobras, later. Ha 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 ha, yeah.